My horror game just keeps getting better. It takes place in an abandoned mine with a unique curse you have to try and lift. I'm currently preparing a demo right now for you guys, so make sure you subscribe because you don't want to miss its release. In the last video, I made some improvements to the spider and made a very creepy atmosphere. In this video, I'm putting the spider on steroids and I'm completely reanimating it. I'm adding a flare gun, adding an inventory system, and at the end of the video, I'm answering frequently asked questions, so let's jump right in. There's a lot of people in the comments telling me to fix the spider's movement because it's too bouncy, and I agree. So I went into Blender and made his legs more to scale with the rest of his body and began animating some unique behaviors for the spider. Like this one, where his eyes fly out of his head. I, I didn't mean for that to happen, but you guys aren't going to see it anyways because it's underground, so I'm just going to leave it. I went ahead and made more animations. The plan is to add IK to the legs later in the engine. Now, modifying the existing spider to work with the new spider was a gigantic mess. Pretty much everything I did just broke something in an entirely unexpected way, making him look stupid. Welcome to Jurassic Park. I just started. There's so much more to merge. The actual spider itself had a whole other pile of problems, like morphing into a giant spider nuggie that it's about a hundred times too big for whatever reason. How did this happen? Um, yes. It was obvious at this point, I was going to have to redo most of the spider. So I started making a new animation blueprint for his new animations. I made a blend space to try and smoothly transition between running and walking and also turning left and right, which, uh, needs a little work. I said screw it and decided to try a completely different IK plugin because the last IK mess still haunts me to this day. No goofing around this time. It's gonna work perfectly on my first try, 100%. I really don't know what the heck any of these buttons do, but I figure, you know, if I just press random shit, stuff will happen. So I'm gonna try that. Hmm, yes. It appears his legs aren't legging in the tunnel very well. The IK works on players too, which is kind of neat, so it can actually touch you. I wanted to put the new spider to test. I mean, really push the limits of my patience. A lot of you guys wanted to see the spider walk on ceilings, which I think would be pretty cool, but you already know that shit is going to be buggier than a cockroach. This would require a complete redesign because the spider's movements are basically set to walking only. So I had the idea to make it a flying spider, which you can already tell that's going to go well, and then just give it some code to keep it from flying away. Well, that's not good. I'll just do a bit of math to fix this. Don't worry, I learned this shit in college. It's just not working. Maybe he needs a minute. Maybe he's just got a headache. Or maybe my math's wrong. Never let them know your next move. Awesome buck feature feature. I've done it. I've solved the world's energy crisis with my not supposed to be spinning spinning machine that generates a whopping 5,600 spider power. Assuming it's the size of a horse, of course. Spinning at 2,000 RPM, it can generate 4.18 megawatts, enough to power 11,146 homes in the US. Well, according to ChatGPT anyways, it's probably all bullshit. Wow, that's a lot of errors. Well, this is definitely more promising. Just don't look at him when he gets too close to the top, otherwise problem solved. I made a little obstacle course for my boy to master before I can trust he won't fly away on me. It seems to work, but the spider just face plants most of the time. And of course, if I fly, he also flies, which he's not supposed to do that, so it's not working. He's doing good. He's face planting. He's doing a handstand. He's, he's flying. That's cheating, he's not supposed to do that. Quick face plant, for old time's sake. Okay, oh, that's a really bad face plant. He's definitely not supposed to do that. His chase animation is completely broken as well, which is good to see. I decided to give him two separate IK rigs, one for walking, which controls all of his legs, and then another one for chasing, which ignores the front two legs. Okay, looking good. I'll have to visit the whole walking on the ceiling thing later, but that doesn't mean I can't get him to walk in the walls, right? I modified his playpen to give him this big ramp thing to see if he liked it. He seems a little hesitant. He, he could just be scared of heights. Nope. I added a nav link proxy, which essentially bridges gaps in navigation meshes, which AI used to move around. This seems to work okay for now. And he's stuck. Oh, and broken too. That's nice. It's a tough corner. I'll have to keep this kind of geometry in mind to make sure he doesn't get stuck in the mine. He can walk up walls, but he just kind of floats up there for now. I, I don't know why, but I'll just fix that later. Another request was to have the spider not hunt all the time, which that's a good call in hindsight. So I redid the AI so that the spider has hunt events. When triggered, the spider will crawl out of his burrows to hunt before then disappearing back into the burrow. I also wanted a full animation from when the spider catches the player instead of just a basic jump scare. Ah uh, yes, very realistic death animation. Yeah, this is going to take some time. With the spider sort of not broken anymore, it was time to add the flare gun. Not that flare gun. I found this cool British flare gun from the early 1900s and it looked pretty cool in the game, I thought. So I fired up Blender and got to work modeling it. 
Using a reference image really helps a lot when modeling because you I didn't really know what I was doing, but this helped a lot. I use Substance Painter to texture it, and there's this little trick I learned to add screws and details. Instead of modeling the screws in, you can just use a height mask to stamp the screw texture into the material, and the lighting does all the work. It looks really nice, and a lot of games use this trick on lower vertex count objects, and geometry illusions from the lighting are basically free. It's free real estate. Now that I got the big iron in my hip, it's time to start coding the flare gun. At first, I tried to use math to point the gun out in front of the player and then use inverse kinematics to snap his arms to the gun, but this was going nowhere fast. My stupid gun kept flying away from me and then coming back. Back to Blender I go. I'll make proper baked animations for the character instead of procedural animations, which these turned out awesome by the way, and the flare gun is coming along nicely. I added a Niagara effect to add some colored smoke to the flare, which looks awesome, but those flares are moving. Now, I've shot a lot of things, but I've never shot a flare gun before, and I doubt flares go that far. I wonder how many of these things I can shoot before my computer shits itself. Hmm, quite a bit actually. Now, for reloading the gun, I used animation notify events, which totally broke everything. Oh, my gun's in my ass. I'm, I'm sure I can fix this. Now that's a big shell. I always screw things up when spawning actors, and it's usually very large items that end up spawning. At this point, the code was getting messy, which made putting the gun up my ass annoying because I had no idea why it's doing that. Ah yes, just like piss is stored in the balls, ammo is stored in the butt. What? I may have just exposed every shooter game ever. Oh, you're playing Call of Duty? How's it feel to have ammo up your ass? Like, where do you get that from? Now keep in mind, this flare gun is old and rusty. The ammo is going to be old and wet because it's been sitting in a, in a cave. It's probably going to cease fire quite a bit, so I coded this mechanic into the game. I got the flare gun working nicely, and now all I needed was sounds. But I don't have any flares or a flare gun, so I'll have to improvise. I took a piece of copper tubing and started beating the hell out of it to try and make my shell. Then I packed some noisemaker into the shell and held it down with my hammer. It was pretty crude, but it worked fine for my game. I want the flare gun to burn any flammable things it touches, so I added fire spread mechanics which works pretty good. Oh, that doesn't look good. The sky is on fire. And now my computer's almost on fire. Why is the spider flying? Yeah, something's not right. It's almost like a collision issue, but I don't see any problematic collision boxes anywhere. Only a spider who's just tripping hard over there. Yeah, the, the fire shouldn't spread like this. Yeah, okay. I really messed up somewhere. Okay, so it, it turns out the collision on the spider webs was messing things up for whatever reason. So I fixed that. The flare gun seems to work 100% of the time, except for when I'm trying to test something with it. Then the darn thing does not want to work, which is perfect because players will have trust issues with it, making it a gamble to use it as a defense mechanism. One of my friends gave me some real flares for my birthday, so I was able to actually record what a real flare gun sounds like. While I was at it, I wanted to see if you can ricochet a flare off a wall, because in my game, you can ricochet the flare off the cave walls. We shot it a couple times at this concrete wall, which would be pretty similar to a cave wall, and it looks like you actually can. They deflect surprisingly well. Although in this clip, it looks like one of them ricocheted and the other one was destroyed on contact, but I'll just ignore that. I also wanted to see if a flare could light stuff on fire simply just by hitting it. So I got some two-stroke gas, splashed it up on the wall, and shot it. And sure enough, it lit right away. I know gas is already pretty flammable, but I wasn't sure if the flare would be moving too quickly or not to ignite it. Now, originally, I wasn't going to add an inventory system. It was just going to be like Granny, where you can only carry one object at a time, making it more challenging and you got to drop things if you want to pick another thing up. But this made things pretty difficult, especially when the spider was hunting. Like, if you died with the flare gun in your hand, it completely destroyed the game, giving you a remote-controlled flare gun that you can't get rid of no matter what. It's just there, haunting your every move. The spider isn't scary, no, no. But an invisible floating gun, now, now that's scary. So I made a proper inventory system, which is extremely buggy at the moment. I swear the amount of things I find up this player's poop shoot is starting to piss me off. Do not store dynamite up your ass. I don't recommend it. There's this cool bug where if you open the inventory, it reloads the flare gun. Not useful at all if you ask me, but it's a feature. And if you try to equip the flashlight, there's this bug where, uh, um, 
and you can dupe items apparently. I'm not sure why, but if you pick up a rock and put it in your hand, it becomes a boulder and you can one arm curl a boulder like it's nothing and walk casually with it. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Have you ever wanted to blow yourself up with an invisible stick of dynamite? Well, now you can. The inventory system is really nice for organizing small items, like this fuse you need to power a hoist, which I hid, and a really good spot, you're not gonna find it. No, it's not in this red toolbox I made, so stop looking at it. Okay, a lot of you guys had a lot of questions, a lot of good questions, so I'll go over that right now, starting with the first one, which is the most popular. What is the name of the game and does it have any lore? I actually have an awesome name picked out for the game, which is completely derived from the lore I wrote. I plan on releasing the name with the reveal trailer. As for the lore, you can have some little teasers as a snack. You play as a guy named Sam who is looking for something. This whole time, I've been referring to the spider as he, when I should really be saying she. But is she really a spider or something more sinister? When is the next video? Right now, it's out right now, you're watching it, you're looking at it right now. Jokes aside, it takes quite a long time to make these videos because I put a lot of care into them and the game. Like I said in the last video, I need a lot of time to develop the game and a video can't even begin being edited without footage of the game, which has to be built. And that's ignoring the constant bugs and problems. Now I do play the odd horror game here and there to see what other devs did and sort of get inspiration from it. It's basically like a field trip, but a scary one. Jump down this hole and then we, fuck. We don't go that way. We don't go that way. We don't go, we don't go that way. Fuck, he's right here. Oh, which way did we go? Oh no. Watch this. Before you crush her 18, <laughs> you know, just for that, I'm killing myself. If you guys would like to see me play some horror games, let me know in the comments or leave a like on the video. When is the game coming out? I've decided not to set a release date because it depends heavily on how much traction this game gets. Like, I've already had some people contact me, and now I've got a guy working on sound design and a video editor, which speeds things up quite a bit, helps a lot, but a demo should hopefully not take too much longer. At this point, I'm just trying to tie up loose ends like fixing a ton of stuff, like this this spot I get stuck in all the time, or the monster thinking that she can spawn inside of rocks, or this impossible jumping area that I wasted 10 minutes trying to get across and got stuck twice. But yeah, I'm working on it. Have you considered teaching other people UE5? Well, I have considered it a little bit, but there's no way I have time for that at the moment. Maybe down the road I will, but at the moment, no. What platforms will the game be on? It'll be on PC at launch, and you know, if enough people want it on console, whatever, I'll do it, sure. Will you add multiplayer? Yes, this game will be multiplayer, but not at launch. Make it VR. That, that wasn't even a question. People are just straight up demanding it. If I do make it VR, it probably won't be for a while because it'll probably break a ton of stuff, and I might have, like, I, I don't know, I'll, maybe it will, who knows, I don't know. Do you have a Discord server? Well, I do now. The link is in the description. I'm not sure what will become of it. Probably just memes and shit posting. I have no idea. Well, that's it. That's the end of the video. The next video might be the reveal trailer, so stay tuned for that. And subscribe if you haven't already, because I'm surprised how much it helps the channel. Like, quite a bit. Thank you guys for over 18,000 likes on the last video. The amount of love and support is crazy. Thanks guys, I'll see you soon. If you like this video or you like what I'm doing, hit the like button so that the YouTube algorithm swats other innocent viewers with this video.